So, hi guys. Do you remember that old saying, don't work with pets and children? Well, yeah, I've kind of worked with some pets. But these are super cute. A um, couple of young puppies here, only a number of weeks old, and the mum there in the middle. Uh, trying to get them in front of the camera to do what we wanted. Um, not quite as easy as you think. So, a bit of a learning curve. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm a photographer who does a bit of everything, so I'm not really a master of a certain area. I just kind of love doing what I do and uh, trying to be creative and also capture stuff that obviously could be important for someone and try and be artistic at the same time and, you know, this, that and the other. So, yeah, capturing the puppies before they get a bit bigger and obviously grow up. So, yeah, quite interesting how they were relatively well behaved, but as soon as you get like a treat or a toy and we were trying to get them to stand still, um, it did work pretty well for a few moments and then it all went wrong. Uh, but at the same time, we did get some cool footage like this. So shooting with the A1 and the 135 uh, G Master, mostly at f1.8. Every now and again, I messed up wrong focus points. So I'm, I was shooting center there and obviously I strayed off. And uh, as you can see there, it went out of focus, but then soon back on the target. So I missed a little bit. <coughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, 135G Master and the A1. Shooting, fully manual as I do. Uh, soon learnt that I needed to um, basically have uh, the focus points slightly different to what I was doing. Um, but shooting 4K 120, I love it, because you can just slow it down a little bit and they just become, the puppies became a little bit bouncier, a bit more sort of uh, slow-mo feeling, and it was just quite cool to watch. And you can appreciate how quick they are. Uh, when they're running around. Only trouble is, every single time I crouch down, what do they do? They come towards me. So that was one challenge. Did get some really quite cool shots, and, you know, it it worked. But, like I say, we tried to get them further away from me, because obviously I'm using 135, and, yeah, it, they just come at you. <laughs> so, obviously, the 135 can only uh, focus down to about 72 centimetres, or thereabouts. So, yeah, it was challenging. Poppy here, the mum, absolutely wicked to photograph. I'll have to do some more of her at some point. But, yeah, proper action shots, really quite photogenic as well. And having that burst rate of up to 30 frames per second uh, on the A1 was awesome. I mean, I was shooting medium to high. I never went high plus. So anywhere but sort of between 8 and 10, 15 uh, frames per second stills. Getting some shots like this was really cool. So I've cropped this one long and wide because I just thought it worked quite nicely. The um, This one here was an issue. Uh, both dogs looked away. A1 decided, oh, what should I focus on? Oh, yeah, a hair that's floating around. One of theirs, obviously, that they're having a bit of a tumble. Uh, yeah, so not sure why that happened. I, I don't know if I was in uh, tracking mode or whatever. This is another shot here that I kind of didn't really mess up, but it's just trying to keep them in line. So... One, the puppy came towards me, it was locking on the IAF, uh, but my depth of field was obviously so shallow that the other two became out of focus. This shot is quite cool because it just look. it reminds me of um, Sooty and Sweet. If you look, Sooty and Sweep, if you um, look them up as an old TV show from when I was a kid. Uh, but it shows you how, how well the eye autofocus locks on and stays on uh, to the dogs there, right in the right hand corner there, top. Um, a few interesting facial expressions. So I was shooting it up to around and around about one thirty two hundredth of a second, one four thousandth of a second uh, when they were moving quite quickly. The light was quite constant, it was quite cloudy, but it was quite soft. So the lighting was quite nice, even though it wasn't that bright, but obviously having f1.8 uh, lens, it was fine. Shooting ISO 400 uh, most of the time. Uh, like I say, IAF working quite nicely, even when... Uh, the puppy was come bounding towards me and then literally slammed into me before <laughs> I could get a shot. Uh, but yeah, so really, really cool. And like I say, it's something, it's something different, um, but also super cute. And capturing facial expressions and just their personalities is really, really fun. Um, you know, I like this shot here. It's just kind of cute with all the buttercups and everything everywhere. And the fact that you can just blur out the background really heavily was really, really nice. Uh, I did stop it down a little bit a couple of times, so like F4. Um, f5.6 just to try and get a little bit more depth in the shot uh, but at the same time it still didn't wasn't really quite enough to get them all three in focus fully because 
one they didn't want to sit still long enough for me to uh, capture. As you can see, there's a bit of a greeny sort of yellow tinge on under his chin there. That's actually the buttercups and the grass reflecting light up onto the uh, onto the hair. Obviously, it's quite light. So color. Always remember that. You know, sometimes people go, oh, it's a bit of a weird color tinge. There you go. It's even more. Um, in the images, oh, it must be something wrong. It's not actually that. It's literally the reflection of light and colour from the grass up onto the subject. Um, IAF working flawlessly even through the grass and buttercups and stuff. Uh, that worked really nicely. Uh, got photobombed a couple of times, which was quite amusing. Again, there you can see the colour reflection uh, just on the white bits of the dog there. Um, photobombed by one of the other dogs coming running past, but the camera's still locked on to the eyes, which is cool. That's the closest shot I got to the perfect three lined up. Um, that's actually shot f5.6, but probably could have done with being f8, really. Uh, this shot here of Poppy, really, really cute. Uh, she was easy. She was, she'll was sit. She'll do as she's told. But obviously the puppies are still learning. Still got loads of energy, um, as you can see there. There's always that one mate, isn't there? As it reminded me. you got your, your group of friends or whatever, and there's always that one that just messes around all the time. <laughs> that's the one. So that was quite a cool shot. Uh, probably bounding towards me. I just called her and she literally just ran towards me. So really, really quite easy to get shots like that. Tack sharp on the eyes. Uh, really, really good. Uh, this is where I got photo bombed by the other dog walking past. Still stayed on the eyes. So the autofocus works really well. you just got to make sure you have it in the right um, settings, really. I had it to start off with center because I was trying to stay with them. And it wasn't really 100% <coughs> perfect, especially in video. So I then went wide. And it works quite a bit better. Um, but learning curve, literally, I I like wildlife. I love pets and everything like that, photographing people and all the other sort of stuff of photography. And so it was a bit of a learning curve um, dealing with fast-moving, completely erratic, crazy puppies. That, that was that was just, uh, you know, you learn on the job. You're trying to work out what you need to change to get the next shot that's a bit better. So I was pretty pleased. Uh, just the random, focusing on a random hair floating past um, while they sort of, crashed into each other and sort of turned their faces away so it lost that but picked up on a random hair so yeah interesting stuff so i'm still learning to use the a1 I, you know i've not had it that long and you know utilizing its speed for stuff like this is is really really cool so anyway don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well and any questions thoughts comments anything feel free to leave them below and i'll see you soon